Even today, they're often too preoccupied with the cut and thrust of daily life to achieve a greater perspective. Yet in the last 50 years, a quiet but profound revolution has taken place. A host of satellites now stand watch over our planet. Sentinels in space, they monitor changes on land, at sea, and in the air. Like guardian angels, they help protect our precious globe. Satellites allow us to see the Earth in a new way, to see the big picture. Satellites tracked the most destructive hurricanes of the year, including infamous Katrina. Warm water fuels hurricanes, so there is a worry that global warming may create an even greater number of more powerful hurricanes in the future. And one of the causes of global warming is carbon dioxide, and fires are a potent source of this gas. When scientists looked for fires from space, they were startled at the sheer number around the globe. Yet again, satellites revealed a new side to our planet, a fiery aspect. Nowhere was that more so than in Africa, which quickly became known as the fire continent. The satellites showed fires sweeping south each year with the dry season. The fire season in South Africa peaks in August. Here, fires are both natural, caused by lightning, and set by humans to clear the bush and to prepare fields for planting. In Kruger National Park, fires are considered part of nature and a benefit. Only fires that threaten people are fought. Otherwise, the teams just keep a watchful eye and contain the conflagration. So, how do satellites help here? South Africa has the largest center for tracking satellites on the continent. Philip Frost works for the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research and is a remote sensing specialist. Philip works with two NASA satellites called Terra and Aqua. Whenever a satellite moves into orbit across uh, southern Africa, we then directly receive the satellite as it passes overhead. Normally it takes about uh, 10 to 14 minutes for a satellite pass to complete from horizon to horizon. When we receive the satellite data, it's all raw digital numbers. So what we have to do is convert those digital numbers into radiances and then from there to reflectances and then into thermal measurements. Satellites, once again, had added to a new understanding of our planet. But in Africa, they did more. They helped in very direct and practical ways. The two satellites, Terra and Aqua, are important to Kruger National Park. Besides using the MODIS imagery to map our fires and monitor our fires, we also use the active detections and the GPS coordinates that we get uh, from MODIS to alert us to the possibility that there may be a fire in the felt and when we then go out the rangers guard to look or to identify the fire they will then monitor that fire so what happens is it helps us to early to detect the fire and then we can then look at what's happening around us so that we can either put in suppression techniques or let the fire burn the satellites add to the information about where fires have occurred 
With this knowledge, controlled fires can be set where they are most needed. We as the managers of the park would like to set our fires so you don't have large uncontrolled wildfires. Outside of the national parks, fires are a major problem for the electricity company. In South Africa, we've got quite a unique problem in that when fires burn underneath transmission lines, the fire actually ionizes the air around the transmission line and you get conductive air. Now, this conductive air can cause something similar to a lightning strike from the line to the ground, which we call a flash of or arcing of the power. And you have a short circuit. It's really like a little bolt of lightning that you see. That has a whole effect on the power system. The breakers operate, there's a protection system, it trips sometimes and of course it, and most of all it affects our customers. So for, uh, for ESCOM, which is South Africa's biggest power utility, it's very important to know about fires close to their transmission lines. We met up with Philip Frost in about 2003 and he came along and said that uh, we now have satellites that will spot these fires for us and I said to Philip, well, let's go for it. What Philip did was use the satellites to create a system that detects the three to 5,000 fires that each year threaten the network of power lines. But his system does more. After finding a fire close to cables, it automatically calls the manager responsible with the coordinates of the fire. The speed at which we receive data from the satellites is actually amazing. On the polar orbiters, we get that data about 20 minutes after the overpass. So that's pretty fast. That uh, gets us right on top of the problem as it happens. Working on Fire is a government-funded program that trains and employs out-of-work people as firefighters. It's proved highly effective. Satellites have not only revealed the huge numbers of fires around the planet, but in South Africa, they've helped reduce the damage that they cause. Satellites have moved from being monitors, watchers from space, to active helpers, putting out fires and making life better for all. Fires are a major source of smoke and polluting gases such as carbon monoxide. 